Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Polynomials. Here are the questions and solutions from exercise 3.4 and this is part 2 video. In this video, we will learn the solutions of question number 3 and question number 4. Here is the question number 3. Obtain all other zeros of 3x power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 if two of the zeros are root 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3. I shall repeat. Obtain all other zeros of the polynomial 3x power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 if two of the zeros are root 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3. If you observe the polynomial, if you observe the given polynomial, can you say what is the degree of this given polynomial? Very good. Since the highest exponent of the variable is 4, you can say that the degree of this given polynomial is 4. Since the degree of the polynomial is 4, there may be 4 zeros. But how many zeros we have given? We have given 2 zeros. 1 zero is root 5 by 3 and second zero is root minus root 5 by 3. We have to find two more zeros now. Now let us see. Let us see the solution now. Here it is given that the polynomial is p of x is equal to 3x power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5. Since the given polynomial is of fourth degree, it may have how many zeros? It may have four zeros. And we have given the two zeros. One zero is root 5 by 3 and second zero is minus root 5 by 3. Then there may be two more zeros. Therefore, let us assume that the other unknown zeros are say alpha and beta. Now let us find the sum of all the zeros. One zero is root 5 by 3. Second zero is minus root 5 by 3. Third zero is alpha and fourth zero is beta. Let us add all. Then sum of the zeros of a polynomial is equal to minus b by a. That is, plus root 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3 will be cancelled. This minus this is 0. Plus alpha plus beta is alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Means minus 6 by 3. What is minus 6 by 3? 3, 3 in 6 2 times. Therefore, alpha plus beta is equal to minus 2. It is the first equation. Now, let us go for the product of the zeros. Product of these zeros. Product means... You have to multiply all the zeros. One zero is root 5 by 3. Second zero is minus root 5 by 3. Third zero is alpha. Fourth zero is beta. Therefore, the product of all the zeros is equal to E by A. E means constant term by coefficient of x power 4. Now, if you multiply, plus into minus is minus. Root 5 by 3 into root 5 by 3 is root 5 by 3 whole cube which is 5 by 3. Minus 5 by 3 into alpha into beta is equal to E by A. E is constant term is minus 5 and x power 4 coefficient is 3. Therefore, it is minus 5 by 3. This is also minus 5 by 3 and this is also minus 5 by 3. Therefore, alpha into beta is equal to minus 5 by 3 into minus 5 by the other side minus 3 by 5. If you multiply these two, you will get 1. Therefore, alpha into beta is equal to 1. Understood? Alpha into beta is equal to 1. And alpha plus beta is equal to minus 2. From these two, let us find alpha minus beta value. How? We know that a minus b whole square is equal to a plus b whole square minus 4ab. Or alpha minus beta whole square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta. What is alpha plus beta value? Alpha plus beta value is minus 2. Minus 2 whole square minus 4 into alpha into beta is 1. Minus 2 whole square is 4. Minus 4 into 1 is minus 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. That is alpha minus beta whole square is 0 and alpha minus beta is also 0 because square root of 0 is 0. Then alpha is equal to if we take it minus beta to other side then alpha is equal to beta means these two zeros are all equal alpha and beta are equal alpha is equal to beta now let us substitute alpha is equal to beta in the first equation we know that this beta is also alpha that is alpha plus alpha is equal to minus 2 
alpha plus alpha is equal to minus 2. What is alpha plus alpha? 2 alpha. 2 alpha is equal to minus 2 and alpha is equal to minus 2 by 2 that is minus 1. If alpha is equal to minus 1 then beta is also equal to minus 1. Therefore, the four zeros of the given polynomial are alpha is minus 1, beta minus 1 and the other two roots, other known roots, root 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3. These are the four roots of the given fourth degree polynomial. Now, let us see question number 4 now. Question number 4. Give examples of polynomial p of x, g of x, q of x and rx which satisfy the division algorithm and the first bit degree of p of x is equal to degree of q of x. Second bit degree of q of x is equal to degree of r of x and third bit degree of r of x is equal to 0. Now in order to find this First of all, let us write the division algorithm. What is division algorithm? The division algorithm inverts dividend is equal to divisor into coefficient plus remainder. This is dividend. P of x is dividend. Dividend is equal to coefficient into divisor plus remainder. Understood? Division algorithm is Dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. If you divide 9 with 2, you will get quotient 4. Therefore, this 9 can be written as 9 is equal to 4 into 2 plus 1. The remainder is 1. Similarly, P of x is equal to Qx into Gx plus R of x. In the first bit, we have to give an example such that the degree of p of x should be equal to degree of q of x. That is, the degree of the dividend should be equal to the degree of the quotient. Here, in order to give an example, we know that x plus 2 is equal to, how can you write x plus 2? x plus 1 plus 1. That is, if we write this x plus 1 as plus 1, then x plus 2 is equal to this x plus 1 into 1 plus 1. Why you write like this? In order to bring this x plus 2 to this form, to this division algorithm form. You see, x plus 2 is equal to x plus 1 into 1 plus 1. If you observe these two equations, these two are in the same model, are in the same form. Therefore, you can say that p of x is equal to x plus 2, q of x is equal to x plus 1, g of x is equal to 1, and r of x is equal to 1. Therefore, you see, P of X is equal to X plus 2. And Q of X means quotient is X plus 1. And G of X is 1. And remainder R of X is equal to 1. Now you observe, degree of P of X should be equal to degree of Q of X. You verify what is P of X? X plus 2. What is the degree of X plus 2? 1. And what is Q of X? The polynomial Q of X is X plus 1. And its degree is also 1. Since these two degrees are equal, it is satisfied. Our given example is satisfied the required condition. Now look at second bit now. Degree of Q of X should be equal to degree of R of X. Means coefficient degree should be equal to the remainder degree. Coefficient and remainder should be of the same degree. Again we know that 2X plus 2. Let us take 2X plus 2. 2X plus 2 means x plus 1 plus x plus 1, isn't it? 2x plus 2 is x plus 1 plus x plus 1. Therefore, you can write this x plus 1 as x plus 1 into 1 plus this x plus 1. Now, you see 1 into x plus 1 is x plus 1 plus x plus 1. What is x plus 1 plus x, x plus 1? x plus x is 2x, 1 plus 1 is 2. Therefore, 2x plus 2 can be written as x plus 1 plus x plus 1 or x plus 1 into 1 plus x plus 1. Hold this in the form of our division algorithm. Px is equal to qx into gx plus rx. Therefore, you see, p of x value is 2x plus 2 and qx value is x plus 1. gx value is 1. rx value is x plus 1. Therefore, p of x is 2x plus 2. qx is 
एक्स प्लस वन जी ऑफ एक्स इज वन आर ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स प्लस वन यू वेरीफाई आर कंडीशन द कंडीशन इज डिग्री ऑफ क्यू एक्स शुड बी इक्वल टू डिग्री ऑफ आर एक्स वट इज क्यू एक्स एक्स प्लस वन द डिग्री इज वन वट इज आर ऑफ एक्स एक्स प्लस वन इट्स डिग्री इज ऑल्सो वन देर फॉर क्वेश्चन एंड द रिमाइंडर आर ऑफ द सेम डिग्री एंड अवर रिक्वायर्ड कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड नाउ द थर्ड कंडीशन नाउ इट इज गिवेन द डिग्री ऑफ आर एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वन प्लस जीरो यू कैन राइट दिस एज एक्स प्लस वन इंटू वन प्लस जीरो होल दिस एक्स प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वन इंटू वन प्लस जीरो होल दिस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अवर डिविजन अलगोरिजम दट इज पी एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू क्यू एक्स इंटू जी एक्स प्लस आर एफ एक्स दर फोर पी एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वन क्यू एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वन जी एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एंड आर एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो यू सी यू ऑब्जर्व वट इज द डिग्री ऑफ द रिमाइंडर द रिमाइंडर इज जीरो देर फोर इट इज ऑफ जीरो डिग्री ऑल द वीडियो लिंक्स ऑफ द इंट्रोडक्शन टू पॉलनाम and the problems and solutions from exercise 3.1 exercise 3.2 exercise 3.3 and exercise 3.4 are given in description and you can follow them and you can revise them thank you thank you one and all